Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here on Throwback Thursday to do a Patreon request from this patron right here. Ask us to check out Kiwas, and the name of the song is Warrior Soul. I hope I pronounced it right. Kiwas. Anyways, Kiwas. Uh, I heard about, I've never heard the band, I've never heard any songs from them, but I've heard of the band. When we were in Finland last summer, Asim, uh, he mentioned to us that for a short period of time, towards the end of the band, he was part of of the band yeah and uh and the guitar player from metal de facto he was the guitar player for these guys and we saw each other well everybody saw each other at uh, dark river festival because he was there with another band that he plays guitar for so i seem saw him there we start talking he introduced us to him and that's how come how we kind of oh my god i'm having a hard time with the words that's how we kind of figure it out who was who and how yeah. we knew each other there was a little bit of a of a throwback moment at Dark River Festival. Everybody was reminiscing about their time together in Kiwas. All right. And this is Asim's claim to fame. Yeah, he's always very proud to say that he was part of the band, even though like he was there like really just to pull the plug, almost. Yeah, he went in there with his critical energy. <laughs> He's like, he brought all are... his negativity to the band. Yeah, he's like, you guys are doing this wrong, this wrong. It was like a scene from Aeroplane when he's telling his story and everybody around him is committing suicide because they want to. They don't want to hear his story. So it's probably something similar to that. And we're just joking. We're just yeah. kidding. All right. Anyways, uh, are you ready for this warrior soul? Yeah. All right. Let's check this out.
He's so, so happy to be a part of the band. To to attach his name like yeah. like to, to the band. It's like hey, I, I was in the band. Definitely his claim to fame. Uh, wow, wow. I think I we have to. This is some of the greatest folk epic power metal I've ever heard in my life. I, I, I don't even know where we start. Do we start with the vocals or do we start with the guitar playing? The drums can, at the end can, were absolutely Can we start incredible. with the drums at the end, please? Oh, Because the drums at the end, just tearing it up. I love, I, I love how they were powerful throughout the track, but, but the not end, overpowering. Oh, but in the end... But then in the end was like, okay, like... All bets are in. Uh, yeah. The all the pedals. chips are in the middle of the table. I'm all in. And it's just like absolutely destruction all the way through. That stretch at the end was so heavy from the drums. I mean, the, like I said, the drums had a, a heavy presence throughout, yeah. but not like that. No, not that, until that the was... end. That was incredible. Incredible. I love that closing. So, so powerful. So heavy. So powerful. I love it. Uh, but having said that, I think... The, the other two elements have to also be addressed, which I said was the vocals and the guitar yeah. playing. The, let's go with the guitar playing. The guitar playing on this track... Very metal de facto. The whole song... Was very metal de facto. Well, actually, very metal de facto is very Kiwas. Yeah. If you think about it. But the guitar... They, they were around before. Yeah, but the guitar playing just reminded me so much of metal de facto. The vocals reminded me a little bit of Mikel Salo as well. Mikel Salo. Not the tone, but the style. The style, yeah. The approach, the approach. Because that was on his own different level. No, but I'm saying is the the way the way he went with his delivery yeah. throughout the song, knowing exactly where to go up and where come to back get down. The higher points, yeah. Exact the, the his not the tone, but his delivery, very Mikael Salo. Or Mikael Salo has a very similar delivery. Very similar. I, I honestly think if Metal the Factor was to do a cover of this song, they could, I mean they have the same guitar player, they yeah. could totally pull it off. Totally pull it off. I just found like their song. Now that now that we've heard Metal Defect, but now that we're listening to these guys, I can see perhaps where they took some of their inspiration, because I feel like their sound is it's a, it's a it's a sequel to to these guys, especially like, with the keyboards and uh, the guitar playing, the keyboards, the vocals, uh, all the elements that make. One but, of the reasons I like Metal Defect so much is, is all those all those elements in this and, and the same thing here. So. Maybe they felt like not only they need to make power metal great again, they needed to bring back the vibes that were present with these guys. Because with metal de facto, it's really more power metal. It's not as epic folk power. These guys feel like more epic in folk. There's a lot of yeah. there's a little bit of folk influences into their sound. Metal de facto is more straight power metal. Where perhaps power metal brings some of the folk elements is to the lyrics. Because the lyrics, like the, in the last album, was about Rome. The next album is going to be about Greece, I believe. So, uh, in, from the lyrical perspective, Metal De Facto brings a little bit of, of folk influence, but not into the sound. No, but into just the, into the lyrics. the lyrics. These guys had it into the sound. There's some parts of this song felt very folky to me. Sounded very folky, and how the keyboard melodies were yeah, played yeah. sounded very folky uh, but to me. Those parts where it kind of stopped and they just let the guitars go ham. Very Metal De Facto. Very. Well, but Meryl the Factor yeah. perhaps took it from them. Yeah. Not the other way around. These guys were before. They came before. It's like, this is not the chicken and the egg. You know, we know who we know exactly who came before. But I really like the track. It's so well constructed. The guitar playing is outstanding throughout the song. 
the, the, the solos, those flourishes, the in and out, the, 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 the song is just, from a guitar perspective, it's an absolute delight just to listen to it. Just incredible guitar playing, incredible musicianship, just really phenomenal, outstanding work. I like the vocals as well. There was one thing about the vocals that I wasn't a big fan, and that's one part when the vocals come in and, and it's almost not like talking, but it's a little bit, it's a, it's a little bit, how can I say it? Almost like a narrator. It, it was almost uh -huh. like it was just kind of just like talking. And I felt like it took a little bit, I, I was a little bit surprised. It took a little bit of speed away from the song. It slow, yeah, it definitely felt like to me like it slowed down the track. And it took a little bit away from that bombastic feel that the track overall has. Because every time the vocals come in, it, they always feel like they're, 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 they're helping push the song forward. Because the song has a great momentum. And the vocals always feel like they're the igniter of that momentum. But in that piece there, that portion there, it felt like the vocals kind of came a little flat. So it caught me by surprise because I was not expecting that. I was expecting them to come full force. And by coming a little bit flat, it just, it, it, it caught me off guard. I, I don't know if I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. But overall, overall, this is like, this is absolutely epic. Epic track, epic song, uh, guitar playing, vocals, drums, everything. And how it's constructed. There's so many different layers to this song. It's like you feel like you're on a roller coaster ride yeah. with this song. You like you keep going down and then go up. You come down, you go up. It's just moving all over the place. But now, now having listened to this, now I see where Metal De Facto have came from. Yeah. Like the idea behind it. Like I'm not saying that they're copying these guys, but, but there's I see definitely where the a lot of came yeah, from. definitely, definitely a lot of the same elements. I mean, not only because they share a guitar player, but there's a lot of other. That's also a, that's also something. I mean, that that plays a factor. That, that you, you can't deny it. No, he's you know? an amazing guitar player. He is an amazing guitar player. And, and you know, you always want to take a little bit of you wherever you go, yeah. right? So it's not surprising. But uh, I can see where the inspiration for Metal De Facto perhaps came from. All right, guys, this is it for this uh, Patreon request throwback Thursday. Thank you for the requester. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.